Hi everybody, I'm Jade and it is solar plexus time. We are on our third chakra, Manipura, the solar plexus. It is the center point for our determination, our strength, our willpower, our self-esteem. It is exciting, it is fun, and we are about to tap into it. Again. So we're going to start by coming flat onto our back. Keep a bend in the knees, soles of the feet flat to the mat. Bring the arms out to a T. Take a nice deep breath here in through the nose. Exhale slowly out of the mouth. One more of those in through the nose. And exhale slowly out of the mouth. Bring the palms together and then slowly lower the arms, letting them hover just above the mat, not coming all the way down. Bring that left knee in towards the chest. Bring the right knee in towards the chest. Reposition the body. Extend that left leg up and then bring it down and then let it hover just above the mat for five, four, three, two, and one, bring it in, extend the knee up and down for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that knee back into the chest, extend the leg up and down for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back in, extend it up, bring it down. Hold it, letting it hover for five, four, three, two, and one. And then bring that knee in. Extend the right leg up. Same thing, other side. Bring that leg down to hover for five, four, three, two, one. Draw the knee in. Extend the leg up. Bring the leg down for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in, up, and down for five, four, three, two, one. In, up, and down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that knee in. Extend both legs up. Bring the legs down as low as you can. Let them hover for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the knees in towards the chest. Extend the legs up, same thing. Bring them down gently to hover for five, four, three, two, and one. Draw those knees in, last one. Extend the legs up. Bring them down to hover for five, Four, three, two, and one. Bring the knees in. Bring the hands up overhead. Hands come to knees. Open the knees nice and wide. Inhale as you bring the knees in towards the chest. Exhale, bring them down. Inhale them in. Exhale them down. The feet are going to be floating just above the mat, not coming all the way down. Inhale, knees towards chest. This time, flex the left foot. Exhale, bring that foot down, bringing the heel around to the edge of the mat. The left heel comes around to the left edge of the mat. Then bring that knee in towards the chest. Flex the right foot. Right heel goes down towards right edge of the mat. You'll feel a nice opening in the hip. Bring that knee back in. One more to the left, flexing the left foot. Heel comes to the left edge of the mat. Very nice, bring it in. And then last one on the right side, flexing the right foot, right heel goes down to the right edge of the mat. Bring the knee in, close the knees like a book, relax the feet, extend that left leg out, arms come out to a T. We're gonna take a nice twist here. Inhale, nice deep breath through the nose. As you exhale through the nose, let that right knee fall over to the left side, trying to keep the shoulder blades flat to the mat. But if one pops up, not a deal breaker. 
use your left hand to gently try and pull that knee a little closer to the mat. If it feels good to come all the way onto the left side, if it feels like less strain, then go ahead. A few breaths here. Slowly bring that knee back up to center. Reposition the body. Left knee comes in towards the chest. Right leg extends out. Full inhale in. On the exhale, left knee goes over to the right side. Trying to keep the shoulders down. Gently using that right hand to pull that knee a little closer to the mat. If it feels good to come all the way onto the sides, then do that. Just make sure you're still getting that twist. Slowly bring that left knee back to center. Bring right knee up to meet left. Let the soles of the feet come together. Bring the hands behind the feet, interlacing the hands. Pull the knees away from you. Lower back is flat to the mat. Head and neck are relaxed. If it doesn't feel great to have the feet so close together, you can let them come apart. Just flex the feet, hold on to the heels or the shins, whatever is accessible, and then pull the heels in a little closer to the pelvis. Whatever your body wants to do and is comfortable doing, follow its lead. Release that hold. Let the ankles cross. Knees come in towards the chest. Rock back and forth until you come all the way up to seated. Come into a nice, comfortable sitting position. A couple of sun breaths. Inhale, arms up overhead. Palms come together, reaching up towards the ceiling out of the rib cage. As you exhale, turn the palms out. Relax the knees. Relax the hips. Exhale the hands down. Inhale the hands up, matching your breath with your movement. Exhale, turn the palms out, bring the arms down. So we might be moving at different paces, and that is okay because our breath is different. But you want to sync your breath to your motion. When you run out of breath, when you come to the end of the breath, you should be at the end of the pose or the motion. One more. Nice deep inhale, reaching up and out of the rib cage. Exhale, bring the hands down. Bring the soles of the feet together and extend that right leg out. Tuck the left foot in a little bit closer to the right thigh. Inhale, arms up overhead. Then drop that left hand down to the mat. Slide down onto the forearm. Full inhale in. On the exhale, reach up and over. Your gaze can be down at that hand or up over at the elbow. Just make sure you're not dumping forward. Nice open heart here. Elbow is moving up towards the ceiling. Nice and easy, bring that hand down, walk it over to that right foot, flex the foot, let the hands come to the foot or the outside of the foot for a little bit of a different sensation. If that doesn't feel good, hands can come to the shin or to the thigh. Wherever you are, be there comfortably. Neck and back can remain straight or you can drop the head, let the back round. A couple of breaths here. And if you have a strap, you're more than welcome to use it here. Slowly walk the hands back. Right leg comes in, left leg extends out. Full inhale in. This time, right hand drops to the mat, slide down onto that forearm. Full inhale in. On the exhale, reach up and over. No dumping, creating nice space in the heart. Flex that left foot, bring the hand down, walk it over to the left, holding on to either the outside of the foot, the base of the foot, the shin or the thigh, neck and back are straight. 
before you're dropping the neck, letting the background gently. Nice and easy walk the hands back up, up. Bring the knees together, soles of the feet flat to the mat, and cross that right heel, that right ankle in front of left ankle. Hands come out to the side. You can take a mudra, bringing your thumb to your pointer finger if that feels good to you, or you can just leave the palms open. Nice and easy, we're gonna lean back slightly and bring the knees in towards the chest. Try not to lean back too much. I'm gonna just bring the knees up towards the chest. One, two, three, and you're slowly, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bring the feet down, cross the legs in the opposite direction, this time left ankle over right, and bring the knees up towards the chest for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring the feet down. Let the soles of the feet come together. Knees open up nice and wide. Nice straight spine here. Full breath in. On the exhale, walk the hands out. Just loosening that up a little bit. Go as far with it as you like to, extending the arms out as far as you like or keeping them in slightly. Nice deep breath in through the nose, exhaling out of the nose slowly. Slowly walk the hands back, bring the knees together, swing them around, come onto all fours. Couple of cat cows here, pressing into the mat. Inhale, heart towards the earth, forehead goes towards the sky. Exhale, round the back, chin comes in towards the chest. Inhale up, heart towards the earth, forehead towards the sky. Exhale, round the back, chin towards the chest. So sink your breath with your movement. Letting it flow. Moving as fast or slowly as your breath dictates. And after that next exhale, pause in a nice neutral back. I'm gonna thread the needle here. Inhale, right arm up towards the sky. On the exhale, slowly bring that arm through the space between the left arm and the left thigh, coming down onto that right shoulder. Left hand bends, extends out, or reaches out and around. You're resting the face on either the cheek or the forehead, just depending on which one leaves the neck in a more comfortable position. And then just breathe normally here. Whatever tension you're holding in the body, try and release it. If you find that you're still trying to sort of like hold the body up, just let it go, just kind of melt into the mat. If you're in that bind, slowly bring the hand down, push yourself back up into a comfortable tabletop position. Same thing, other side. This time you're going to inhale that right arm, left arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, send it through the space between the right arm and right thigh, coming down onto the shoulder, resting either the cheek or the forehead to the mat. Right arm bends, extends out, or reaches out and around, resting on that lower back or thigh, upper hip. If you're in that bind, 
slowly come out of it, bringing the hand down to the mat, pushing yourself up into a comfortable tabletop position. Cross the ankles behind you, then lean back, coming into a seated position. Knees bent, soles of the feet flat to the mat. Nice straight spine, then extend that left leg out. Bring the arms up, hands, palms facing up, or come into the mudra. Nice deep breath on the exhale, lean back slightly. Point that left foot. We're going to lift that leg, that left leg, a total of 10 times, starting with one. Two, moving slowly, three, <clears throat> four, five, six, relax the shoulders, seven, eight, nine, and 10, bring it all the way down. Bend the knee, come up, let the soles of the feet come together. Nice big inhale, straight spine. On the exhale, walk the hands down. I'm gonna stay here for three, two, and one. Walk the hands back up, bring the knees together. This time, right leg extends, left leg bends. Arms come out, palms facing up. We're taking in the mudra. Nice deep breath in on the exhale, lean back slightly, and we're gonna bring that right leg up. Foot pointed, toes pointed for one, moving slowly and with purpose. Two, relaxing the shoulders. Three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring that leg down. Sole of the foot comes flat to the mat. Come up, soles of the feet together, and a straight spine. Full inhale in. On the exhale, walk the hands forward. And we'll be here for three. two, and one. Slowly walk the hands back. Bring the knees up. So it's time to be super awesome. Tap into your strength. Bring the legs down at any point in time that you feel like it might be a little too much. Bring the palms out, facing up. Deep inhale in on the exhale, lean back slightly. This time we're going to lift the legs, then extend them out, coming into our canoe pose, and then bring it back up. So we'll do that for a total of 10 times. So start with the knees bent, soles of the feet flat to the mat, palms facing up or coming into the mudra. Deep breath in on the exhale, lean back. Lift the legs and bring it down and up for one, two, three. Try and keep the knees close. Four, five, soften the face, six, seven, remember to breathe, eight, nine, and ten, hold it here, cross at the ankles, come all the way down, up, inhale, and then exhale out of the mouth. Bring the soles of the feet together in a straight spine. Nice big inhale in through the nose. Exhale out of the nose as you walk the hands down. And we'll stay here for three, two, and one. Walk the hands back up. Come into a nice comfortable seated position. Place the hands in the lap. Left, right hand resting in the left palm. Thumbs come together in Dhyana Mudra. It's just a mudra to help you come into contact with your true self. Nice straight spine here. 
and focus on that center, that solar plexus area, the area right above the navel. Just focus your attention there. Breathe normally. Close the eyes if it feels good to you. And then just set an intention for your life, a goal, something that you are working towards, big or small, whatever it is. Take a deep breath in, breathing life into that goal, into that manifestation. And exhaling out slowly anything that no longer serves you or helps you to attain that purpose. You may open the eyes gently. Thank you for practicing yoga with me today and honoring your body, tapping into your power center. Until next time, I wish you peace, blessings, and much prosperity.